we've all made mistakes while programming. Some maybe, you know, logic errors, some like this one here, maybe formatting errors. And this is what I want to focus on in this video, because this code is genuinely giving me an aneurysm right now. Um, I, I honestly, I cannot begin to tell you how triggered I was just writing this, but there are tools out there to help fix these problems. As you can see up here, this, for, uh, this file is not saved due to the fact that there's a, um, a circle there. However, with a simple click of Control S, the file is fine. All these imports have been sorted properly. All this is you know, moved to the same line. You know, all the spacing and the indentations have fixed themselves and all through just saving the file. And this is something that Visual Studio Code and other IDEs granted are particularly good at. And this video is gonna show you how you can set up Visual Studio Code to simply just hit Control S and have your code all properly formatted using black and I sort immediately every single time. So the first thing we need is to install some extensions. I do have these installed already, but I will show you the ones we want. So first we type in black, and then we get this black formatter down here. So you specifically want the, the one created by Microsoft. There are kind of multiple others. There's this one here, for example. That's not the official one. Uh, it might work, but it's not the official one. We want the one by Microsoft. It is in preview currently, um, but it works perfectly fine from what I can tell. The extension ships you know, currently with a slightly outdated version of black, but that's not the biggest problem in the world. And it only supports uh, Python 3.7 and up. So do keep that in mind if you're using Python 3.6, though to be completely honest, you shouldn't be. Um, and then the other extension we want to install is iSort. And again, we want the one by Microsoft. And again, it's also a preview. This one's been downloaded way more for some reason. Uh, and it has largely the same, um, you, you know, restrictions. It does actually use the latest version of iSort, um, but it still is limited to Python 3.7 and up. So do keep that in mind. The next thing we need to do is we need to go and actually set these things up. Uh, I've closed that file by accident. So you can go into your settings by holding control and clicking comma. And then we need to go to this button up here, which allows us to open the settings file as a JSON. And then I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and we need these bits here. So uh, this key here essentially controls our Python settings because of course this is only going to work on Python, it being black and I saw. Um, so everything in here will run only on Python code so you don't need to worry about any conflictions or anything. So we need our editor.format on save equals true. Uh, this means that you know when we save a file, the editor you know, formats it. We then need to tell it exactly how we want it to format it. So we then change the editor.default formatter from I don't know what the the uh, the default one is, but we need to set it to ms-python.black-formatter, and then we also to get it to sort our imports do editor.code actions on save source.organize imports is true. And this is kind of a nested dictionary or a nested object because it's JSON, I should use the proper terms um, inside uh, you know, the Python object that we already have here. And these isort args go outside of that. Um, but if you are using black, which we obviously are here, then you do need to set the profile to black. Otherwise it will use its own stupid profile. Um, that nobody uses and is is rubbish, <laughs> quite frankly. I don't know why that's the default, um, but you know, there we go. At least we can change it to black using this. So just by using these bits of code and installing those extensions, whenever you save a file in Python, it will now format it just like that. And it will do, you know, the whole file, it will do your imports, it will do, it'll do everything for you. And it's actually really, really nice to have. Um, it's a lot nicer than, you know, relying on your know, control KI is the one to sort imports and contr I set control KF to do formatting, but just having it all on control S is really nice and it's nicer than commands as well. One thing I will say before the video ends, if there is an error, like a syntax error in the code, so if I just go back to the horrible one for a second and get rid of this, so there's now an error when you hit control S, it won't format it and it won't also tell you why, you will need to kind of go and look at it. So if you're clicking Control S and you're finding it's not working, chances are there is an error in your code. Um, black doesn't format code unless, you know, all the files are syntax error free. Um, so if you're, you know, 
uh, if it's not working for you to make sure to fix all your errors then save it and it'll work so that's uh, just something to keep in mind because that's not especially clear uh, when you use it but that's all i wanted to talk about uh, in this particularly short video if you liked it make sure to leave a like to let me know and consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this if you have any questions or potential video ideas that you want me to do feel free to leave a comment i read them all so your feedback is greatly appreciated if you want to support the channel monetarily, you can do so in one of two ways. The first of which is by becoming a patron using the link in the description. The other is to become a member using the join button. Uh, one pound a month on either and you can be on the screen like these people. And I will see you next week when we do whatever we do. I haven't planned what we're doing next week. Um, so yeah, I'll see you next Saturday.